it a wonderful feeling when you're traveling and you accidentally uncover that perfect little cafe or that secret little shop. Don't you love that? Oh. It's a buzz, isn't it? Absolutely. But if you don't always have the luxury of time or you can't be bothered lugging around a big buy book, that is where these little pack of secret cards come in handy. Today, this is how I'm getting around town. I've got somewhere to go, somewhere to eat, and somewhere to drink. Australia now has 21 titles in the secret series, and today, I am armed with Brizzy's three decks. So the activity I've selected for today is the Gallery of Modern Art, or GOMA. Is that good? Good, excellent. Excellent, all right. First class. The gallery was opened in 2006, and the building itself is a modern work of art. Stored inside is the largest collection of contemporary artworks in the country. Director Tony Elwood believes there are many reasons why the gallery has been such a success. Um, it's very accessible and forward thinking, very welcoming. Um, it's artistically, it takes risks, mm. which I think is really exciting. The creations are bold and a little bit eccentric, but they all fit the bill of modern art, which I am told includes anything post 1970s. Goma is right on the Brisbane River at South Bank. And once you've whizzed through all five levels, you can jump right on board the city cat and be ferried to the next location. What Dining is one of the few Brizzy restaurants located right on the waterfront. And head chef Harley Island has gone to great lengths to create a diverse and, I must tell you, very tasty menu. How do you come up with all of these different recipes? Because when I was looking at the menu, mm. I didn't recognise any of the dishes. I'm a bit like that. I have a lot of people coming here, so I like to play with flavours a lot. Mm. I pretty much don't. I like to very diverse, eclectic kind of food. Don't like to stay with just typical French or you know Japanese. I try to mix my flavours around a fair bit. You like to play. I like to play. I do. The restaurant sits on the boardwalk level of the Brisbane Powerhouse, and frequent visitors include the likes of Brisbane's very own Powderfinger. Now it goes without saying that the wine list here is pretty darn fantastic, and I've noticed a very cool and groovy lounge bar just over there. But the cards have not let us down today, so I think for our final stop, I'm a terrible shuffler, for our final stop for the day, let's sample, oh this looks really cool, let's go here. And the cards have won again. The Lychee Lounge is a very hip little bar in the city's West End area. With features like the Barbie doll head chandelier, it is a bar with a difference. But my tip is to get in early because seats here do fill up fast and the house specialty, the Lachi Martini, is a winner. If you are lucky, you might get yours specially prepared by owner Ali Mubrak. Do you think it's fair to say, Ali, that, um, that Brisbane has really come of age? No, definitely. I think um, Brisbane is really happening and I reckon in the next five or ten years, you know, you might see us rivaling you guys down in the south. They're fighting words. <laughs> <laughs> Deck of Secrets has packs available for Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne for $9.95 a pack. Virgin Blue has flights to Brisbane starting at $99 from Sydney, $129 from Adelaide, $145 from Melbourne and $199 from Darwin.